back. Another week, another fandom TV, and another absent Jim Green. Go figure. But enough about that. We've heard about my thoughts on the last video with that. So I have another great co-host with me today. Joining us all the way across the end of the world from Hobbit Country, Malcolm the Crusher Lay. Malcolm, how you doing today, buddy? I'm doing pretty good. Um, I think we should have a good fight on the hands because we've got case. So I think there's a little bit about Star Wars. I really don't know. But, um, and we've got Jay, who I've seen around as well. So, Oh, yeah. Both of them from their playing matches had uh, really good scores. Uh, case, as we know, he loves his Star Wars, able to just knock them out of the park. So we'll see how he does with the rest of the categories today in his fight. Uh, I think Jay's going to give him a run for his money, though, because Jay has that avatar in his back pocket ready to bust that out like no tomorrow, Malcolm. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And But enough from us. Let's go to what our competitors are saying before this match in, po in uh, pre-match uh, promos here right now. I don't usually have a lot to say during these. So mine will be real short, real quick. You, you took away the uh, intimidation factor by keep telling me to go. So I guess I got to go to, I guess I got to go to my lighter trick now. And I don't really have a lighter trick. Like I haven't done so well in a majority of my matches around here. I've been dicked by not knowing the name of certain songs. And I swear to Christ, if there is a fucking song question in TV fandoms, I will kill myself on live internet TV. That being said, I'm playing against Case Case Cornelese. Is that is that how you pronounce it? Just give me a nod of the head, give me a thumbs up. Whatever, it doesn't matter. That's the guy I'm playing against. Uh, I hope to beat him. If not, then all of the shit talk that I gave Nico the other day will be for not, and we can't fucking have that. So, Case, I need you to just give me this. I, okay, that that that's it. Just just. Go back, take your nap, and I'll answer all the questions I can. Well, I am back to the uh, fandom ring, but this is not movie fandom, so I'm not doing my character. TV fandom is something that I just wanted to join because there are Star Wars questions, which I like. Other than Star Wars, I don't watch these shows. I don't watch the shows that are being asked about. Somehow I managed to pull off the miracle in that play and match to actually answer like two questions in my strength category because the entire my entire opposition didn't manage to do that it was just like you're choosing a strength and you still don't manage to answer just two questions about your strength that's just insane uh i saw jace play in he did um pretty good actually and i think he knows more about these categories than i do so i think that i'm uh yeah this will be the only match that I compete in this entire tournament in today. Uh, so that's really all I can say. I'm not expecting a whole lot out of this match, uh, at least out of myself. And we'll just see how it goes. Uh, no character stuff. Good luck to Jay. Uh, let's get this thing going. <laughs> Very, uh, Jay has that bit of confidence. I think the case is just a uh, very somber and, Surprised he got this far, Malcolm. Uh, what are your thoughts coming out of that? Um, I mean, for all we know, Case could be playing the uh, mind game and uh, just going in, trying to slide himself down because um, he thinks all he knows is Star Wars. But some, some things he may be able to guess his way through and actually get there. And I mean, Jay's going in as confident um, as possible. And, he, he, he really wants to face Nico. Yeah, yeah. He has an obsession with Nico as Nico has an obsession with... All right, this is a PG show. We're going to keep that uh, under wraps. But, <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> Kane's kind of going light on himself, but he proved. He had the Star Wars. He knew, he knew his, some Game of Thrones. So he has some knowledge. It's just it's going to see, depending on the questions, if he can match up with it. So we'll find out right now with our proper introductions to get these two in here. Introducing first, making his 
Phantom TV debut, the Grand Admiral Case Cornelisa. And his opponent coming to the ring, also making his Phantom TV debut. He is the arsonist, Jay Burns. <laughs> oh, so nice. So nice, fellas. All right. With that, let's go into the rules for round number one. The rules for round number one work as such. Each competitor will have 10 questions. Basically, Jim ripping off uh, Kane and uh, uh, Caleb's idea. So 10 questions from 10 predetermined categories worth one point apiece. Each competitor will write their answer down on our whiteboard, piece of paper, as long as they have something to write with. That's the important part. Uh, you have 15 seconds to write it down. When called upon, you will show your answer as well as verbalize it. Verbalization is the key to get the points. Spelling, as long as they're close, we have accepted some questionable spelling in the past from multiple divisions, which are always fun and probably at the end of the year, blooper real material. So uh, there is no incorrect answer or incorrect uh, point deduction for incorrect answers, and there is no stealing for round one. So with that, Case, are you ready? Sure. <laughs> ready as I'll ever be. Jay, are you ready? Yeah, I just want to say you call it confidence. I call it just a big old trip. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Both of them are ready. So, Malcolm, please take us into question number one. All right. In the category of Star Wars. What popular Star Wars species is Hera Syndulla? My favorite character. Thank you for that. Love you. Uh, it's it's okay, Malcolm. I won't judge you. It's it's uh, stars, but the wrong stars. It should be Star Trek, but you know, we'll we'll go Star Wars for this one. <laughs> All right, both of them seem. Close to ready. Malcolm, go ahead and give us a countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Um, Case, what do you have? Twi'lek. That is correct. And Jay. Gotta love those Leku. A Twi'lek. Oh, nice. Both hitting on board. Both coming out strong. All right, gentlemen, your next category. One of my favorites, South Park. South Park. And your question. On what game show does Randy say the N-word on national television? Figured I would take the take the heat for that one. They can yell at me for, why are you asking this question? I'm not going after you, Malcolm. <laughs> the category is people who annoy you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so many people go in that category for BKs, but both of them are ready. So we'll go five, four, three, two, one. Let's go to Jay first. Ooh, the answer is Naggers. Naggers. Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> that is correct. And case. Wheel of Fortune. Oh, uh, both of them staying perfect so far. Uh, right. In my favorite car ah, category of the Arrowverse. To date, how many seasons of Arrow have completely aired on the CW? Right, at least what is your favorite Arrowverse show, Tim? I would honestly have to go... I, I'd have to go Arrow, but Legends of uh, Tomorrow is starting to really climb that one for me. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's The Flash. Oh, yeah. The, I mean, all, all of them are good, too. All of them are good quality shows, especially after CW took Supergirl off of uh, CBS's hands. Yeah. yeah. And five, four, three, two, and one. Um, right. Case, what do pure, you have? Pure guess. Six? That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> um, perfect. Nope, I said four. I said four. Ah, uh, that pure guess pushing Case into a one-point lead. My God. All right, gentlemen, your next category in non-Netflix Marvel. Non-Netflix Marvel. 
in Agent Carter, what is the full name of Howard Stark's butler? This was... I, I think it could have gone on a little for a few more seasons here. Malcolm, what do you think? Yeah, I, I believe that this series was cancelled too soon. This, um, is, it was, this was the best so show that great. they had in a long time. Very much true. Very true. All right. Both of them seem ready. So we'll go five, four, three, two, one. Starting with Jay Burns. I said Edwin Jarvis. And you would be correct for a point, sir. And Case, were you able to get it? I went with the old answer of, I don't watch this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, that is not correct for a point. Jay catches up to tie us up. Malcolm, take us into our next question. In the category of The Simpsons, what is the name of the Springfield elementary custodian who speaks with a Scottish accent? Partially my kin because we're both Scottish and we drink heavily. But, but that is also probably he does it for the kids. I do it because of Nico. <laughs> in five, four, three, two, and one. In case, do we have an answer? I don't care. I really don't care. <laughs> And Jay. Those damn Scots. They ruined Scotland. Uh, Willie. We'll accept that, that yes. yes. Spelled at the, with an I-E at the end instead of the Y, but we will accept it. <clears throat> All right. Gentlemen, your next question comes in the realm of dragons, giants, tree people, and what have you. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. <clears throat> what is the name of Sansa's direwolf? It's kind of a mean question. <laughs> How is this a mean like, question? I, I, because I, out of all the direwolves, this is the one that lasts the shortest. <laughs> right? Like two episodes. <laughs> this one didn't even... Yeah, yeah, that was just cruel. <laughs> two episodes! <laughs> Well, what can you do, folks? It's it's Game of Thrones. Everyone dies every other day. Well, they're more good this bitch. <laughs> but well, they're, they're both ready. Right? So we'll go five, four, three, two, one. Starting with Jay. Uh, lady's a good dog. She didn't do anything wrong, a lady. That is correct. And Case. Lady. Nice. All right, Malcolm, what is our next question? In the category of Doctor Who, which Doctor has been portrayed by two different actors? Yes, Jim loves his Doctor Who. For me, it's Doctor Who fucking cares. It, it, it's basically, I hear Jim go on about Doctor Who. It's basically just like like the, the Charlie Brown voice, you know what I'm talking about, Malcolm? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I definitely know. I, that. I, I, do, I hear the same when my friend goes on about it as well. In five, <laughs> four, three, two, one, and zero. Case, do you have an answer? At least I can guess numbers, so I just guessed the fourth one. That is incorrect. Jay. Uh, I do believe that would be the first Doctor. Correct. Played by William Hartnell and David Bradley. Nice, nice. All right, gentlemen, your next question comes in the right stars of Star Trek. Oh, <laughs> your question in Star Trek. Star Trek Discovery, or STD, is called by the fans because it just won't go away. It's contracted by the youth, the unaware, and it just won't die. But your question. Star Trek Discovery uses what type of experimental drive to travel the cosmos? Have I ever told you my true thoughts, Malcolm, about Star Trek Discovery? Uh, I don't think you have. Oh, yeah, we'll have to discuss that on a TV roundtable eventually. <coughs> There's not enough time for this, but 
All right, we'll go five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go with J first. Bro, I don't know. I said a warp drive. P.S. Chlamydia <laughs> is not a flower. Uh, it's warp drive in the rest of them, but not this one. Case, were you able to get it? I wanted a next-gen question. Well, too bad. We have to acknowledge this crap. The correct answer is the spore drive, which sure. if someone would have told Janeway about yeah. this back on her, she would have been pissed off. But it is the spore drive. Malcolm, what is our next question? In the category of DC non Arrowverse, what actress plays Chloe Sullivan in Smallville? A, a very good teenage drama with with Superman, I guess you could say, compared to what we've got in the past with the adventures in Lois and Clark. Kind of a different like one eighty spin with it, Malcolm. Yeah, I was completely shocked when I saw it actually go back to the original Kent farm in the crossover. <laughs> yeah. Um, and five, four, three, two, and one. Case, do you have an answer? I went with the good old answer of I don't watch this shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Jay. Uh, my answer is along the same lines, but I think I'm a little bit more correct. That girl from the sex cult. I mean, you would be correct if you had the name. Ah, give me the point. Uh, yes, it's, it's Allison Beck. <laughs> Fuck, I couldn't remember her name. <laughs> <laughs> I go through that plenty of time. Like, oh shit, who the hell is that person? But all right, your last question to get us out of round number one in. Everyone's favorite, apparently. I don't watch it, so I don't know. Uh, Avatar in Avatar. What is the name of Zuko's sister? Malcolm, who is Zuko, and does he, in fact, have a sister? I wouldn't know. I haven't started watching Avatar myself. <laughs> oh, you are missing out, sir. That is yes, you. Awesome. Yes, you are. <laughs> Watch it. It's awesome. <laughs> All right. We'll go since they're both ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Jay, hit it. Uh, Azula, P.S. That bitch be Cray. All right. We'll take Azula. I don't know what the rest <laughs> is, but let's go with Case. Uh, that bitch is Cray, and it is Azula. <laughs> All right. They're both right on the name. Um, the rest, I don't know what they were saying, but you know, that's life. Uh, Malcolm, what is our score coming out of round number one? <laughs> I don't know. I was going to give me track. <laughs> Our score coming out of round one. Jay in the lead with seven points. Followed behind him with Case with five. Two-point game. Very close here as we go into round number two. And round number two works as such. It is our lovely wheel round. Each competitor will have a chance to spin said wheel uh, if they don't like their first spin, they can spin again unless their first spin lands on players or public choice. Each category has five questions to go along with it, not just four. We have five <coughs> worth two points apiece. If you need it, you can go to multiple choice, bringing it down to one point, and there is stealing. So if you get it wrong, your opponent can take those points away from you. So with that, Jay, you are in the lead. You have the option. Would you like to go first or defer? Uh, I will let Case go first. Case. All right. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing or butchering your name, my guy. I'm, I apologize. No, no, no. C Case is good. <laughs> All right. Case, before we spin, we'll go over said categories. Players and opponent's choice, of course. We have anime. We have South Park. We have Power Rangers. We have Game of Thrones. We have Star Wars, Netflix Marvel, Animated Heroes, and of course, Avatar. And yeah, we're not going to worry about that sponsor because they don't matter. Um, They're not paying. So your spin is in, sir. Game of Thrones. Would you like to keep it? Yes, I would very much like to keep that. <laughs> All right, Ooh. Malcolm. Would you like to proper case his questions in Game of Thrones? Yes, I would 
just give me a minute while I actually find it. I mean, do you see the Targaryen sign over there? <laughs> I just thought that was an Amon Marth poster. Uh, I've found Game of Thrones, and in your category of Game of Thrones, your first question. How many episodes were aired in season seven? Uh, that would be seven. That would be that is correct for two points. Your second question: Who is Jon Snow's biological father? Aegon Targaryen. That is correct. Your third question: After the Red Wedding, which house ruled the North? Uh, House Bolton. That is correct for two points. And your last question, who said the famous line, when you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. There is Cer no middle ground. Cersei Lannister. That is correct for two points. Nice round, dude. And Thank you. he has <laughs> one more question. Last oh, one more. That's awesome. Yes, there's five questions in Phantom TV. Okay, um, and your actual last question, <laughs> how, how many brothers did King Robert Baratheon have? Wait, uh, Baratheon, King, King Robert Baratheon. Uh, how many brothers? Uh, that's two, Renly and Stannis. That is correct for a perfect round. Very wow. nice. Wow. <laughs> Case take that round. Account. Racking up four, six, eight, ten points to extend his lead to fifteen to seven. Going into Jay's spin, Jay does at least get a shot to bring it close or take back his lead. I need players' choice or avatar, my guy. <laughs> Not that they're gonna be All any right. different. We go into it, and your spin is in. Animated heroes. Uh, uh, you know what? I, I'll, I'll risk it. Are you going to spin again? Yeah, I'll, I'll risk it. I'll spin again. All right. This one you are stuck with. South Park. <laughs> okay. Okay. I feel a little more comfortable with this. Okay. All right, I will proctor your questions for South Park, good sir. And your first question in the realm of South Park. Your first question. What famed British actor narrated Pip's very own episode? God damn it. Uh, I, I know it. I'll know it as soon as I hear multiple choice. All right, your multiple choice options are A, Terrence Stamp, B, Michael McDowell, C, Ian Holmes, or D, Michael Gambone. Malcolm McDowell. That is correct for a point. Nice. All right, your second question. What city... Do the goth kids send Mike Makowski, the vamp kid leader, to get rid of him in Ungroundable? Give me one last multiple choice. All right. Your multiple choice options are A, Temple, B, Lubbock, C, Stockton, or or C Stockton or D Scottsdale. Uh, I'm just gonna throw it out there and say Scottsdale. That is correct for another point. Nice. All right, your third question: Which Jersey Shore cast member is Randy interrogating in the episode 
It's a Jersey thing. The only Jersey Shore member I remember even in that was fuck. <sighs> I'm gonna hate myself. Multiple choice. All right, your options. Fucking five of them. Your options are A. Polly D. B. Mike. The situation. C. Ronnie or D. Vinny. Pauly D. Chase, you have a chance for a one-point steal. I think it's B, the situation. That is correct. It is the situation. He is That's beating the shit out of Mike, the situation. Yeah. All right. Jay, your fourth question. What season is the first season of South Park? We see the coon. The 14th. Chase, you have a chance for a steal. It is the 13th. Yes. God damn it. Big Fucking Brooklyn Bill. Big two point steal. All right. I was bouncing Jay. between the two. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, I, I feel can, it. I can, ima- I can imagine. Your last question, Jay. What is the name of the software that Danes created to track down trolls in season 20? Uh, yeah, no, I'm going to need multiple choice. I can't fucking remember. So, All right. Your options are A, Troll Track, B, Troll Trace, C, Troll Trap, or D, Troll Finder. Uh, B, Troll Trace. That is correct for a point. All right. Big, big round for Case Malcolm, you would have to say. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Yeah, and coming out of that, we have a score of score of 18, 18 to 10, okay. I do believe. Yes, I have that too. All right, 18 to 10, going into round three where anything can happen. Round <clears> three <throat> is the betting round, which works same as you would see in fandom is each competitor will have five categories with questions attached to them. They can put points on from zero to two. Uh, please don't have the Subrath curse of last week trying to bet three. So it's from zero to two. Um, if you get it right, you get those points. If you get it wrong, you lose the points. And we go until there is a definite winner. We don't have to worry about the Jim and Nico rule because there's no way math- mathematically possible you two ought to go to zero if that happens there's something wrong in the world and i feel sad but with that we go into round number three malcolm would you like to give them the first category they can bet points on yep the first category is avatar oh i think a big category for both of these guys this ought to be interesting and Case, how much are you going to bet? Because I know that Cora is included, I bet zero. <laughs> um, and Jay, how much did you bet? Because I know Cora is included, I bet two. All right. And I want to remind before the question, Case, please play along for stats purposes. I will. And I'm pretty sure he's going to kick himself when he hears this question. What ear temple did Aang grow up in? Maybe. We'll have to see. I mean, I don't know because this is the first time I'm hearing of Aang and his ear temple. <laughs> and uh, five, four, three, two, one, and time. Case, do you have an answer? 
I'll go to yeah, I'll go to case first because he beat nothing. Yeah, uh, I've nothing written written down. I guess it's the Southern Air Temple. I'm not sure. If you would have wrote that yeah. down, you would have had it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and Jay, did you get it? Oh, hey, look at that! I wrote it down. An Air Temple. <laughs> Yeah, that is correct for two points. All right, Kay's playing it safe there, doesn't lose any, but Jay gets himself two more points to get up to 12. All right, let's see how they go in this next one. Your next category of Netflix Marvel. How many points will you wager? One of the I still think the Marvel Netflix is a little bit better than the Arrowverse, Malcolm, but I know how much you like the Arrowverse, but I just got to go a little bit with Marvel. I don't know. It is it is being canceled left and right. Maybe Netflix is running out of money. <laughs> yeah. But they're both ready, so we'll go, Jay. How many points you wager? Uh, I'm going to play it safe and bet one uno pointos. All right, and case. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, play it safe even more. All right, your question. I don't want to ship. In Netflix Marvel, case, please play along for that purpose. We'll do. I have a feeling like I won't be saying this a lot, a lot in three. But uh, your question Who trained Matt Murdock to become a fighter after he was blinded? But Malcolm, getting back before we were so rudely interrupted, I know you love your Arrowverse, so. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the Netflix Marvel as well. I just haven't seen the latest series of anything uh, recently, so I really do need to catch up. I might start on Iron Fist and Luke Cage because it's going to be easy to catch up on them now. God damn uh, it, you I should have bet too. Yeah. Yeah. You can kind of skip Iron Fist, I have a feeling, but, you know, for, for I guess the full flavor, but we'll go five. You can skip the first six episodes of the first season. One. You're not wrong, Jay, but we will go to Jay first. What did you put? I said stick. And you are correct for a point. Case, did you put anything? Well, I said his dad. I don't know if that's right. Ah, no. Not after he was blinded because he was dead. Cool. I mean, he he didn't die right after he was blinded, but, you know. He... I mean, that's what happens when you throw a rigged match, though. Like... Yeah, you don't want to piss off the mob. But, Malcolm, what is our next category they can bet points on? Our next category uh, is a category I'm pretty sure Case is going to bet on, Game of Thrones. Yeah, <laughs> I have a feeling I don't have to say, Case, please play along for stats purposes. <laughs> um, case, um, how much do you get to bet? Yeah, I'll bet two. <laughs> And Jay, how much are you betting? Me. Two. All right. Your, your question I, is, what is the name of Rickon Stark's direwolf? Both the questions that we got were direwolf questions. <laughs> Talk to Jim Green, if you can find him. <laughs> Well, I mean, isn't his name El Lobo? Doesn't he like <laughs> wolves? Like maybe you're not maybe. wrong. You're not wrong. Five, four, three, two, and one. Can I get a repeat? In, in oh, a repeat. Do you need a repeat? Jay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah that so came in. That came in time. I just wasn't sure if he was playing, but yeah, that came in time. Yeah. <laughs> And the repeat for J. What is the name of Rickon Stark's direwolf? <clears throat> I think Jay just wanted to make make sure. Hopefully, and five, four, three, two, one, and pins down. Case, do you have an answer? Shaggy dog. That is correct for two points. And Jay? Oh, thank Christ, I didn't change it to summer. Shaggy dog. Nice. <laughs> Both of them scoring big on there, boosting their leads up. We are within five points, folks. Anyone's left, right? 
Yes, two questions left. We still have a game. All right, gentlemen, your next category is in the realm of Power Rangers. How many points would you bet on Power Rangers? Malcolm, I have a feeling I will say, Case, please play along for stats purposes. <laughs> you would be correct. <laughs> Uh, all right, they both seem ready, so we'll go with Jay first. What did you bet? Oh, shit, my mic was muted. I wanted to score check right quick. Um, I said one. I need to bet at least one point. Okay. Uh, the score is 20 to 15 to – yeah. Yes, 20 to 15. Chase, how many points did you bet? Zero. This is the game-winning question right here. Yes. Yep, this is. yep. Captain Buzzkill, uh, Case right there. So your question, gentlemen, in Power Rangers. Who gave the Super Zeo Zords to the Power Rangers before leaving in Power Rangers Zeo? One of the – or this is the series, I would say, that rebooted the, the franchise after its lackluster third season, which – was just bad because of ratings. Still a good story for season three, though, Malcolm. I'm just going to go ahead and take my points off now. <laughs> All right. They both seem ready, so we'll go five, four, three, two, one. Jay, what is your answer? Good game, Case. I said Zordon. And Case, for Sats purposes. Ryan Permison knows, or RJ. <laughs> or myself, but, you know, thanks for not mentioning me. <laughs> and your <laughs> winner. The Grand Admiral Case Cordelisa. Moving on into the tournament, the correct answer: Trey of Triforia. Before leaving to try to reconnect his three personalities, leaves them to Super Super Zeo Zords. Malcolm, that was one hell of a match. What were your closing thoughts with that? Yeah, I mean. Hey, spent ten thinking he was only going. He wasn't going to go far in this tournament, and um, and I don't know whether it was Jay's confidence that took him down, or just taking that chance on the respin and getting the category not that confident on. It it is what it is, but I mean, when you get a strength in round two and you completely go for for about a model choice, then it's really hard to put the other person to come back. Yeah, it's very true, and both of them should hold their heads high because both of them completely outscored Nico Suave Regole, so that's always a plus for everybody. Um, but, yeah, I mean, like I said, Case knew his stuff. He got he got a strength for round two that he was confident with, was able to sweep it, and had enough lead he could just play it safe in round three, which he did by a lot of, please play for stats purposes, you heard me say. But yeah, it was it was a good match between both of them. Both of these guys strong competitors, especially from their play in. If they would have had different play ins, Malcolm, we would have seen different rankings for both of them. But I mean, both yeah. of them doing great. And with Case moving on, I know we'll see him in the next round. But Jay, I know we're going to see him come back because fourteen points is nothing to shake your head on. Fourteen points is a remarkable score within Fan TV, Malcolm. Oh yeah, yeah, but definitely, and, like, and I might see one of them da down. But I'm staying in Phantom TV as well next after the tournament, so anything's possible. So, oh yeah, but for that, we will go to our post-match interviews right now, and we're back with our winner, the Grand Admiral Case Cornelisa. Case, how you feeling after that win? Probably pretty surprised. Yeah, I, I keep surprising myself in my uh, TV fandom knowledge. I want to uh, I want to thank George R R Martin for creating Game of Thrones. Uh, he he won me the match today. <laughs> uh, um, I want to thank Benny Off and Wise for actually making it into a show that I now watch and that I love. <laughs> uh, because wow. Um, Jay is, uh, I think Jay is a better competitor than me. I'll, I'll just say it. I think that he showed in round one that he knows more about these categories than I do. I just got luck, uh, lucky in round two. Now, to be fair, he did get a strength 
um, where I do think his questions were tougher than mine uh, because I know my South Park uh, also. It's my favorite TV show of all time, South Park, and I had issues with answering some of those questions that I was like, oh, damn, I wouldn't want to be, I wouldn't want to have South Park because if South Park had come up for me, I would have taken that category and then I would have been screwed with some of those questions. So um, props to uh, props to Jay for scoring as much as he did. Um, yeah, it was just luck of the draw in round two. And yeah, round three, I, I played safe. Luckily I could because I don't watch more than half of these shows. <laughs> <laughs> which will definitely bite me in the ass in the next round or somewhere in this tournament. I will I will not make it to the final. I know that. Um, but if I get a strength, yes, I'll run the fucking table. And yeah, that that's that's. Well, if you... I if I get my strength again, like Star Wars or Game of Thrones in the other matches, you better be ready to put up a good fight in round two because you will you will not you will have a very tough time catching up with me at that point. <laughs> Well, I will have to say, though, you, you mentioned the next round and your opponent. Uh, we found out last week that uh, the winner from last week is facing the loser of the Arrowverse championship match. Case, you won this one. You will be facing the winner of the Arrowverse championship match when that drops uh, between Eli McKaig and Zadia Smith. How do you feel against going on? going against either one of them oh that's interesting um both of te their teammates i'm facing both of them in my next team match in uh in uh, fandom movie so that that's going to be fun because i'm going to face either one either way um now, I've, I've seen eli compete in uh fandom movies i think he's a great competitor and i've wanted to face him for a while uh zadius I don't really know in terms of how, how he does. I don't think I've really seen them compete in Phantom TV, so I don't know how they know their stuff in terms of like this um, this leak. So I'll, I'll, ju I'll just have to wait and see. I think both are probably good adversaries to face, so I'm looking forward to face either of them, uh, which I will anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations again on your victory case. We will see you. you in round two of our Phantom TV tournament where you face the winner of either one of those. So, again, congratulations, sir. And with that, we go to our unfortunate loser. I hate to say that because, Jay, I was rooting for you there in round two, hoping you were just going to clear, clean house and get it right back to that two-point lead you had. But you did outscore Nico. I will say that. You completely outscored Nico. So you should hold your head up high with that. But how you feeling after that match, bud? Man, I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling a little disappointed. But uh, I, I want to say something about that last – the, the post-interview match you just had with Case. Um, yeah, uh, they probably know their stuff in the realm of Arrowverse. I'm not going to lie. Like, that, that's in their team name. But, I mean – if, if you can pull out some shit like you just pulled today, my God, man, that, that don't even worry about it. You will get to the next round. Damn it, son. I am so disappointed in myself. Like, I literally just sat down and watched just hours of trivial shit. Like 107 facts on, you know, your favorite TV shows, whether it be Avatar, Simpsons, South Park. And sometimes it just bites you in the ass. I think I'm going to stop being the nice guy and letting everybody else go first because it doesn't seem to work for me. When I let everybody go before me, I, I usually end up fucking losing, which is if last time I checked the opposite of what should fucking happen. Yeah, yeah. That being said, god damn it, I need a win in this fucking league. Um, so the only thing I can say is at least I outscored Nico because fuck that guy. Um, <laughs> I won't shower him with as much abuse as everybody else seems to in this league because god damn, he should change his name from Nico to Outhouse with how much he gets shit on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but props to Case, man. Um, I was a little confident in myself than I should have been going into round two, even with the two-point lead. 
Um, I will echo your sentiments that my questions might have been a little bit tougher in the South Park category than your Game of Thrones questions were. <laughs> that being said, um, if you don't want to continue in round two, you can always give me your spot. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, 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 no. Um, this, this has been nothing but fun. Um, I'm a little disappointed in myself that I wasn't able to bring the luck of the wheel to give me my power category, which is obviously Avatar. Um, I can't wait to continue next season, and I don't think you're going to see a play like this. I think when I come back, uh next season because i'm obviously obviously i'm out but if i come back next season look for uh the guy high on bath salts yelling every random fact you know about the legend of korra and avatar the last airbender and breaking the points record that will be set this season uh other than that guys thanks for having me i greatly appreciate it i can't wait to come back yeah, mm. and Jay, we'll definitely have you back next season, especially after this tournament, because this tournament ain't going to take till the rest of the season, I would hope. Oh, but okay. with Jim Green in charge, you never know. So, but Jay, like I said, you had a great points. Uh, hopefully, you do shatter that point record that is now held from all of our matches that is now held by Case Corner Lace. So, That's hopefully. <laughs> That's awesome. Hopefully you will beat that, and I have no doubt that you won't beat it. I know you will, Jay, because you know your shit. So I know we'll see you back, and hopefully we'll see you soon. But for that, we throw it back to our host, Malcolm and myself. Those are some strong words in that, those interviews there. Um, got Case just um, just still surprised he managed to pull off the win here and We've got Jay to, um, talking about changing his attitude for um, next season, not being first, which always bites here, bites you out, ask to go second, because if you lose your favorite category that, with that to the other opponent, then that's one that can bite you in the ass. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, most definitely. Like, I mean, both of them just came in strong for the first round, both of them, you know, keeping it close within a two point, and then round two. Case got Game of Thrones, was able to run away with it with his knowledge of uh, the world that Mr. Martin has created as he thanked him and various others in his post match interview. And, you know, it's, I know we'll see Jay back. I know he's probably going to have that different attitude. And just once he gets the lead, he's going to just take and take and take with that lead until there's nothing left of his opponent. And I can't wait to see the new Jay come back, I guess, after this tournament to see that, Malcolm. But, uh, yeah, great performance by both of them. Case setting the points record with 20 points uh, in this. So it's uh, very interesting how this is going to uh, move forward for Case now moving on, taking on the winner of either Zadius or – Eli, so it's it's going to be very interesting now. Oh, definitely, definitely, and both um, Eli is a beast when it comes to fandom at any phase. Like, um, I haven't, I don't think I've gone up against him at any stage. I know I've seen Zadius around. I know he knows a lot, and I think I believe I'm going to have to get Zadius in some form in the future. So it, he's definitely yeah. a scary one to go up against. Oh, yeah, very much so. And, yeah, very much so. But for that, we will close out to go to our shameless plugs and promotions that we always do here because, God damn it, we want your love and attention, folks. So with that, we go to our winner first, Case Cornelesa. Where can the good kids find you, sir? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Dutch Movie Guy, and you can find our new YouTube channel dedicated to art uh, on YouTube, uh, dedicated to art. And it's called like that. Uh, follow it on Twitter, Instagram at the at the 2A channel, uh, where we do uh, live shows and Schmodown reactions and whatnot. Uh, so check that out. And I think that's it. All right, short and sweet. I like it. And our unfortunate loser today. Jay, where can the good kids find you online, sir? 
Oh, son of a bitch. The list has gotten so long, I should write it down on my whiteboard. Um, <laughs> you can find me on YouTube along with the one kid that y'all can never remember his name properly, Dominic Rizzi, the movie nerd. It's your friendly neighborhood movie nerd. But you can find us together talking through movies so you don't have to at your friendly neighborhood movie nerd reviews. You can find me on Instagram at bargang underscore burns, burns with a Z, B-U-R-N-Z. You can find me at J Burns on Twitter. You can find me at JBR253 on Letterboxd, and you can find me uh, at J Burns on Twitter. Uh, Facebook, if you want the hardest fucking comic book questions that you've ever been asked, that stump some of the people who have created a comic book league, Grant Gregory, my shout outs to you. Um, that will be the place that you those will be the places that you can find me. Every single one of the burns because there are multiple of them and in Z. So, that being said, back to y'all. <laughs> Finger guns and everything. <laughs> and Look, my I'm... great co-host, uh, Malcolm, where can the good kids find you, sir? <laughs> uh, you can find me on Take Fifth Ductions, where I host my show called Rankin. You can also find me um, competing in trivia here on Multiplex and Full Metal. And you can also find me on Twitter, Letterbox, and Stardust at Malcolm. All right. And I, of course, am TM Smith. You can find me here keeping everything running like a, as well of a much oiled machine as I can here at Multiplex. You can find all of our great trivia programs, Monday Movies with Jess Morgan and Jake Marangoni in Movie Warzone, TV Tuesdays with regular TV Throwdown or TV Fandom with uh Jim Green and myself, mostly now it's just me because we don't know where Jim's at. And Wednesdays, you can find me with Dan Skip Allen on Sports Battlefield, our sports trivia, where we can find uh, the rest of season one playing out to see who gets closer to that championship December tournament. Uh, and of course, in Fridays with Fandom Fights, helping out Caleb Coho and uh, Kane McMillan over there whenever they need it. Or now that I know my Harry Potter, I can help him with Harry Potter questions. But for all of us to close us out, that is Case. That is Mr. J. That is Malcolm. I am TM Smith. We will see you next time for more Fandom TV.